Today we're just basically going to be picking fights with people like, what you want to do? What's the problem? Well, guys, we are back for what I think will be the final time. I think I'm going to have to cut myself off after this one and deem this the last video I will ever make on this YouTuber because honestly, I think that's the best move for my mental. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we are once again, unfortunately, talking about the YouTuber known as Daisy Dukes TV. Now, I've been talking about this woman for quite some time at this point, and over the last couple of weeks, I've seen a lot of other YouTubers start talking about her as well. So, hopefully with all of this new attention, YouTube is finally going to feel the need to do something, but I'm not exactly holding my breath. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about or who this woman is, then I would recommend you click off this video while you still have the chance. Otherwise, your holiday season is about to be ruined because once you know about this woman, there's no going back. Daisy Dukes TV is my vote for the worst person on this platform and honestly, the worst person on this platform in quite some time. She is a self-proclaimed prankster who goes around in public and harasses and borderline assaults random people. If you've never seen any of my other videos on her, then I'll give you a quick recap of some of the stuff she's done in the past. She made a video where she walked into Walmart and smashed a TV. She made a video where she walked around to Target stealing things from people's baskets, and when they asked for them back, she'd make them beg for it, and if they didn't or if they got upset, she would just call them a racist. She's filmed herself stealing from multiple stores. Overall, she is just an extremely unexplainable insufferable person. And like I said, I think this is going to be my last video on her unless she just does something absolutely insane because she does not deserve any outside attention. This is my final attempt to call out to the YouTube gods and ask them, hey, make this right. This kind of content should not be allowed on YouTube and it definitely should not be encouraged. And letting people make money making this content is definitely encouraging it. And it seems like she has no intentions of stopping. If anything, it's the opposite because with every video she uploads, she pushes the boundary just a little bit further. Further, just like she did in the video we're going to be watching today, Angry Man Breaks My Camera, Prank Gone Extremely Wrong. Let's see what this prank is, I guess. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Yeah, back at Walmart. I'm so excited. Today, we're just basically going to be picking fights with people like, what you want to do? What's the problem? Wow, what a banger, Daisy. I feel like you're really coming into your creative potential. Parents must be really proud. I feel like this is one step above getting accepted into Harvard. Really good dinner party conversation. Oh, Luke got accepted into Princeton. Wow, nice, nice, nice. You know, Daisy, you know, she's doing really well. She picked a fight with an old man at Walmart last night. Yeah, she twerked on him and everything. It was a really good time. Yeah, she's going to twerk on an old man in this video. So for the first five minutes or so, they just interview this homeless man and they ask him some really thought-provoking questions like, would you lick my butt? We're going to be skipping over this part because unfortunately, I don't really believe in exploiting the homeless. I know. I know. I'm sorry to be a party pooper. Just let me sit in the seat. No. Where, the ba where are the bags? I don't need a bag. Can you what? watch out, please? Where are the bags? Who are you? You stole this. Okay. Watch out. Did you Can steal you this? No. Can you move out of my way? Did you steal this? Please are y'all recording something? <laughs> <laughs> Go. What? Give it to me. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Give it to me. And whoever did your veneers, you need to go get them done again. That's my medicine. <laughs> Oh my god, do you guys get it? Because she's stealing from somebody and insulting a random stranger? Yeah, no, I don't really get it either. And it really scares me that 98,000 people are subscribed to this woman. I mean, does that not worry anybody else? That's like a whole city of people that think this is funny. I mean, seriously, her entire shtick is just harassing, insulting, and assaulting strangers. I mean, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. If you find this kind of stuff entertaining or funny, you've got something wrong with you. Hey, girl. Hi. No, listen. What are you doing? Where? Okay, I don't like to say stuff like this because it makes me sound like I'm hoping for something bad to happen to this woman, and I'm not. Do I find what she's doing extremely annoying and inappropriate? Yes, but I don't think she should be physically harmed for it. However, with that being said, eventually she's gonna do this to the wrong person. I mean, if some random stranger walked up to me and started rubbing my back and wrapping their arms around me, it's not gonna be a positive experience. This is disgusting. This is not what you do to a person you've never met before. I mean, imagine this was two guys walking up to a woman and doing this. Do you think YouTube would take that very lightly? I don't think so. But for some reason, this stuff is fine to be on the website. I don't get it. Where's your mom? You want me to kidnap him? I kidnap kids. I don't. Yeah, I do. I'll catch you. You ready? You ready? 
<laughs> I've had fellow YouTubers, people I know, tell me about situations where they've had videos removed for concerns about child safety. When they're like playing a video game with a fictional kid in the video game and something happens, yet this is fine. This is perfectly acceptable to go around in public and do this to real people. I mean, am I just going crazy or am I sensing a little bit of a double standard? I don't know. Not to even mention the kind of person who feels comfortable going around in public and saying this to people. I mean, I feel like we've already kind of established the kind of person this woman is, so there's not really a need to beat a dead horse. But my god, this is psychotic behavior. This is criminal stuff. This shit. That's my What's on now? Huh? What, what are you doing? I was just... Is this your card? Oh, is this y'all? Yeah, this is yours. <gasps> um, so... Oh. Do you guys see what I'm talking about with how these videos might not be the best for my mental? The anger I experience watching these videos? It can't be healthy. I mean, who does this? Seriously, what kind of person does stuff like this? I don't think I've ever seen it before. Like, yeah, we've seen a lot of terrible pranks over the years, but normally, even with those awful, terrible pranks, at least the people seem dumb enough to think they're actually doing a prank. They're actually doing something that's going to be funny. This woman knows what she's doing. She knows she's just being a nuisance to society and she thinks it's funny. There's no ignorance here. There's no, oh, I really thought I was pulling a prank. This is just a person being terrible to other people for sport. There's something wrong with this woman. What do you think? Can you buy it for me? <laughs> Can you buy it for me? Can you buy it for me? I'll go ahead. Haha, -ha, get it? Because the joke is sexual assault? Could somebody start a petition for this woman to be arrested, please? I mean, I need Sam Walton to come back from the grave and like IP ban this woman from Walmart. Why has somebody at corporate Walmart not gotten this woman banned yet? She's been arrested in like three different Walmarts. I mean, really, this is not the best look for Wally World, and I know that the public perception of Walmart to begin with is not exactly that high, but this isn't helping. <laughs> You know what? Maybe I gave this woman too much credit. Maybe she is just stupid and ignorant because she points at the camera like her attempting to steal this woman's purse is somehow okay because it's being filmed. I mean, seriously, how do you end up having this little respect for every single person around you? How do you end up thinking that everyone around you means so little that you end up thinking that trying to steal somebody's personal belongings is justified because it means you'll get content for your terrible YouTube channel? They Where took it. Know? I'm just saying. Go. I worked hard for this. You suck. <laughs> <laughs> like for real, my nurse bag. You gonna make me really? I'm not playing. <laughs> Damn, she was gonna charge up at me. You was gonna let her charge up at me? So after this, that guy in the yellow smacks the camera out of the cameraman's hands, and then she goes on this, I guess, like, post-video rant about how that wasn't cool and he didn't have to do that. I guess being completely oblivious to the fact that what she is doing is also not cool. Not really surprised, though. And then security comes and kicks them out, threatens to call the police, and then they leave and, you know, do the normal subscribe if you like watching people get harassed in public. Like the video if you like to watch old men get assaulted. You know, the usual for YouTubers like this. This. And that's pretty much the entire video, and like I've been saying, I think it's gonna be the last one we see of Daisy Dukes. Unless she goes out and does something just truly heinous that I feel like I have to cover, I think I need to take a break from this woman, because it's just very frustrating, it's disheartening to know that people like this exist. People who find a joy in the torment of other people, I just don't really get it. Hopefully, one day YouTube will decide to do something, but I'm not really expecting them to, because, well, it's YouTube, and that's just kind of the way things 
things go. But still, a man can dream. Well, guys, what are your thoughts? Personally, I feel like this is the worst one we've seen from Daisy. All the other videos had a theme, I guess, if you can even call it that. There was an objective. This video, however, was literally just let's go assault and harass people and film it. Not that the ones in her other videos were good, but there was no punchline in this video. There was no, like, overarching theme. It was just let's be the worst people possible. That's funny, right? If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye.